hi welcome guys for today's tutorial on automating network and service configuration using netconf and yang before driving into netconf and yang we know various protocols such as ospf isis snmp and many other protocols all these protocols are meant for a specific purpose for example if it's snmp we can do easily do performance polling fault polling and using various MIPS and OIDs. Uh, if it's the other protocols such as OSPF for ISIS, we can get to know about the network topology. So today's session, we are looking into what NetConf is. So jumping into the session, NetConf is a IETF protocol for network configuration management and Yang, it's its data model. Uh, so today's session, we are looking into what NetConf is. NetConf is an IETF protocol for network configuration management and Yang is its data model. How we can relate to SNMP is uh, what NetConf is for Yang is what SNMP is for MIP. The basic, Im the basic important thing about this session is to understand uh, that the traditional network configuration is through the CLI configuration change and the netconf will bring an additional flavor to this where we can automate certain network configuration procedures okay so let's go to the next slide yeah. the attributes of netconf includes certain specific uh, logical data storage and uh, transaction model in a session based transaction models are very integrated to this uh, type of operation where we can specify a certain session wise transaction uh, so so that large number of automated sessions of configuration changes are, go are going into the network can be easily monitored and understood well yang is the data modeling language defined under rfc 620 and netcon for the rfc 4741 the basic introduction to the netcon for yang is the netcon is a protocol and yang is the data modeling language and we are able to do certain network configuration operation with distributed transaction and able to keep track of, track of this kind of network augmentation that occurs in the network let's see some of the example of a yang data model uh, this particular diagram indicates the tree structure arrangement of yang data modeling of a specific device and, and as you can see this is a tree structure view here you can see the uh, many containers and leaves etc the model is split into various containers and leaves and the leaves contains the data to be augmented the fundamental idea is to use a certain remote procedure call mechanism for retrieving data or to push the yang data model to augment certain configuration other facilities in also include certain data filtering mechanism and specific iteration of certain containers and fields uh, to augment specific configuration in network multiple co configuration data storage method also include include uh, various logical segregation of uh, data base uh, segmentation of configuration which includes candidate of running startup logical data storage segregation we'll just move into the the transport layer of the netconf the netconf uses uh, ssh as the transport layer uh, and Various other protocols are there, right? Like REST, which uses certain other transport layers. So we'll just go through the table. So this is the table, which, as you can see, the netconf comparison with various other protocols. So, uh, for example, when we compare it with REST, uh, the the transport layer is of REST is through the web service, and netconf is through SSH. And we can also compare netconf with other protocols such as snmp in which the data modeling language of snmp is for the mib and the yang has and for the netconf with this yang so 
so as you can see uh, the network uh, in netconf uh, the various uh, data logical data segregation are shown here whereas whereas shown as running startup candidate uh, if it's for the running we can directly change the configuration of uh, using the edit, edit conf um, and then directly changing the configuration in the device if it's for the candidate model option which is more um, is more safe in in a way you just edit the configuration and then save it and there are various other models in which where you config uh, copy the config to the running model and then co copy to the startup the other operations of uh, the the net conf operations includes uh, the get conf where we can retrieve the database configuration database and various other operations are listed here so hope you guys enjoyed this particular session of netconf so this is a basic introduction of what netconf is and some of the commands which i have shown here and looking forward for the next tutorial thank you